Yeah, hi. It's really a heartbreaking story. Tyler was actually walking back home from a friend's house with that friend. The friend was riding um, in the road alongside him on his bike while Tyler was walking a little bit in the roadway. That's when someone, the um, investigators have not find out, found out who just yet, but someone went ahead and hit Tyler right in the road at around 9 o'clock last night. Um, it was a hit and run accident. So poor little Tyler was left behind in a ditch. That's when later on his friend and his his friend's mother went back and discovered him um, just hurt really, really badly. At, at this point, he's at the UNC um, hospital in Chapel Hill where he's dealing with terrible lacerations to his head and uh, to his upper body, his upper torso, as well as really bad cuts in one of his legs that was hit. Um, his uh, great aunt, one of his aunts, tells us that he's now in an induced coma as a result of this awful situation. And uh, investigators from the uh, State Highway Patrol here tell us that they really are on the hunt for whoever is responsible for this situation. Um, they say that it possibly was a Toyota or a Honda that had hit Tyler. Um, and again, you know, it's just a really heartbreaking situation. We did have the opportunity to speak with Tyler's grandmother and his aunt earlier today. So you'll get a chance to hear from them later on in our five o'clock show. Monique John, ABC 11, Eyewitness News.